Every single one of us have new guardian angels coming in to help us with what is to come. I'm going to be explaining all of that in detail, bringing in angelic messaging as I do. And by the way, if you're new here, I am Michelle. Hi, this is Angel Souls, and that's what we do here. I bring forward angelic messaging to help you on your soul's path, to help you cope with whatever it is that you're going through. We focus on spiritual wellness here. All right. Now, I do want to go into a few things here in the beginning. If you're not interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one or services, feel free to skip ahead. There are some beautiful people out there in case I forget to put the timestamp in. You'll, you'll help me out, right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. But first and foremost, I did want to announce I'm still working on new things to come. And I have caught up or I'm getting caught up on standard reading requests. Now, standard reading requests are the ones that you submit your questions. I do a recording for you and I send it via email. Okay, so you get an MP3. Those are the standard readings. That's how you receive your service. Here and there, I offer live readings. So one-on-one -on -one through Zoom. And I also offer live courses. Now, those are not up on my website because those are not a permanent offering. Those are just basically whenever I can get those in. So I do believe that we're in a good enough place now that I can start scheduling some live sessions right after Christmas, okay? So if you want to get in and get one of those spots, angelsouls444 at gmail.com, just email me. I just find it's easier to communicate back and forth and we'll get you set up, basically. I am announcing a couple of new courses there are some caveats that come with these courses, but <laughs> if you don't already know, right now I'm offering how to connect with your angels. That is a one hour course. I also have a whole course packet uh, teaching you angel mediumship. So that's four one hour courses. You can buy them all at once. You get a little bit of a discount or you can purchase them individually. You can always just take the first one and maybe not the other ones. It's entirely up to you. What I am going to add in here though would be a course on activating and working on your Merkaba, okay, which is basically the vehicle of your soul, and also teaching some people how to access the Akashic Records and how to get information from them. This will not be open to everyone. And if you say why, because if you didn't take, you know, at least at a minimum, the Connect With Your Angels course, if you don't know how to access that realm, that dimension, some of you have done it on your own and that's fine. But if you haven't done that, this isn't going to be useful for you. Okay. You won't, I don't think you'll be able to do it maybe. Or if you do, you don't know how to receive. You see what I'm saying? That's what I cover in this other course. Also the angel mediumship course, but usually it's people who, you know, they're pretty used to angelic communication and they want to just hone those skills. So there are those offerings. Please keep that in mind. Again, you email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. <laughs> and if you want the standard readings, angelsouls444.com. Okay, standard is on my website. The other ones just email me and we'll work it out. Now, I get asked every year around this time of year, can we give a reading as a gift? The answer is yes, with some things to keep in mind. One, Remember, I can't read for anybody without their permission, okay? So if you want to give this as a gift, cool, but be prepared for the person to maybe not want to be read. So you'd have to almost be okay with maybe you get the reading instead. You see what I'm saying? Also, and this has happened in the past, lean in, I'm going <laughs> to let you know some behind the scenes stuff that maybe other people wouldn't normally talk about. People have this thing of getting a reading for someone else and then they put in there, here's their information, reach out to them, peasant. And they don't say peasant, but like reach out to them and, and get their info and I'll, I'll pass it over, you work it out with them. No, <laughs> no, I am not your personal assistant, right? So yes, people do that. So if you are gonna get a gift reading for someone, it's up to you to make sure that person is reaching out to me to get that reading. Keep in mind too, that gift will expire six months after purchase, okay? And also, uh, while we're on that topic, if you're going to get the Angel Mediumship full course, all four one-hour sessions, 
yes, you can take your time with those, but let's not let months go in between each one. I don't think that's very effective. So just a little heads up. I just want to like lay this down that way, you know, all the offerings and all of that. Okay. So there's that. Let's get on to the good stuff. All right. So <laughs> Merry Christmas. I celebrate Christmas. Um, that's what I'm most familiar with. If you don't celebrate Christmas um, and you're not offended by accepting my Merry Christmas, then I would like to extend that on to you as well. If you don't celebrate Christmas, comment down below what you do celebrate and, and what is special about this time of year for you. All right. So I'll probably get another video out before Christmas, but just in case. We have extra guardian angels coming in to help us out. Now, th there's no absolutes around the angelic realm as far as our human brains can understand. All right, so let's, let's put that out there right away. We typically, at least in my experience as an angel practitioner, whenever I tune in, it feels like, and, and there's some other practitioners have picked up on this as well, which I think is fascinating. Um, that we're all kind of feeling the same thing or a similar thing. But it seems like most of us are born in with two. Again, that's not like always, I'm sure. One tends to be the, the angel that we hear the most. The other one I refer to as mission control. They're kind of doing, you know, the backstage stuff. They're kind of doing the IT stuff, if you want to say it that way. You know, the details, making sure that um, your energy is good, making sure that you aren't getting severely off path, okay, or giving up or that sort of thing. Now, throughout various times of our lives, and this has happened for each and every one of you watching this video, this has happened to you at some point in your life, okay? You're going through something, more angels come in to help you with that specific moment in time. So if you have been feeling pain, you have angels in there to that'll come in and help you with that. If God forbid you're experiencing loss, confusion, you're having financial troubles. We have angels that come in and help us with that. Now I tuned in, I, I took a whole day off yesterday to work on spiritual practice and I felt this whole crowd of angels and I was like, Hey, <laughs> what's going on here? And I currently have seven around me. Um, don't let that scare you. Cause some people are like, wow, why do I, why do I need so many? What's going on? <laughs> right. So like, don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And I would also encourage you. I know it's kind of, you know, we humans, we need to have a name. We need to have labels on everything. Angels don't actually have names. They, they don't. What about Archangel Gabriel? There's always that know-it-all. <laughs> There's, a, and it's usually a psychic reader or a tarot reader or somebody who doesn't even work in this realm of energy, but okay. Thanks for your two cents. Um, coming in and saying, but what about, well, those archangels were put in charge of a human existence, us humans, knowing we're going to have a 3d consciousness, right? Third dimensional ego consciousness. We're going to need to compartmentalize things. We need things to be labeled. We need our information in little siloed chunks, <laughs> right? So that we can take it in. All right. So that is why they have those names. So the reason why I'm telling you that is if you tune in and you're talking to these guardian angels and maybe you can't necessarily understand all their names, don't worry about it. Don't put your energy into that. It's okay. Just know that they're there and they're here to help you. One guardian angel that if you have really lived as a good person, you genuinely care about others, not pretending to care. Some Listen, this is that split I keep talking about, the 3D split and the 5D split. There are people who at some point, I would say from a spiritual perspective, denied their soul. They experienced some pain, some trauma, God forbid, and they denied their soul. Maybe someone from the psychological community would say they, as one person said on YouTube in that realm, um, like a narcissist, they have a psychotic break from reality, which I think is such a <laughs> perfect way of putting that. And then they start fabricating this world and kind of bullying other people into going along with this made up story they have around themselves. Those are the people in 3d. Okay. Those are the people that <sighs> I don't know what's going to happen for them. 
I really don't. I, I think it's going to be more, you know, they're just going to be kind of like in their own misery. I don't think it's like hellfire or anything like that. I just think that it's almost their punishment is refusing to see that there can be good, you know, that there can be kindness and that someone who's sensitive that doesn't equate to being weak, quite the opposite, actually. For others who are ready, these other angels are coming in. You're a good person, right? You genuinely want the best for others. You care about others. You have your bad days. Sure. Okay. But on the whole, you are a good person. You have help there to help you fortify for what is to come. So we've heard lots of people saying we have to prep, we have to get ready in like a physical way, mentally preparing ourselves, emotionally preparing ourselves. And that's true. And why is that? So a lot of people love to just get this generic thing of, oh, you're fear mongering, you're fear mongering. Those are 3D people. They're in, they're in that side of the split. Because if you know, you know, right? You know that it's, these are all things that need to be said. These are all things that, well, they don't want you to be prepared. I'm getting help here and giving this message. They don't want you to be prepared. They want you to stop listening to people who are trying to give you a heads up. Okay. So spiritual wellness aspect of getting prepared, getting sort of fortified, knowing what you're looking at. Knowing and sensing and feeling, not from an ego standpoint, but knowing and sensing, okay, that's, there's more going on than meets the eye or, okay, I feel this is coming, whatever it is, making system. I've been talking about this for years, guys. It's, it's all, go back and watch the other videos. <laughs> I feel like I'm just like, if you've watched me and you watch every video, you know, it's like we're repeating and repeating and repeating, but I would be on, on the physical realm, by the way, be pumping up your immune system. Do it. Okay. Do it. Vitamin C, doing all that. We'll just say it's maybe going to be a nasty flu season. Okay. So just, just be careful there. But I, I think also we have to not be afraid. And what that's, that's kind of the uh, weird thing here, right? Because it's like people would say, well, you're fear mongering. And then we're over here telling you, don't be afraid. These other angels, these guardian angels, so they're fifth dimensional beings coming in. Everybody's on a different path. Everybody's doing a different thing and that's fine. Of course, be working with archangels too if you want to. No problem with that. But these are your team. These, these are members of your team and they're going, you have other spirit guides coming in as well. So they may be helping you with whatever it is that you have to learn on your soul's contract. Okay. Whatever it is that you're learning on your soul's contract will be on the backdrop of whatever is happening in, quite frankly, this very fabricated world. So <laughs> as more and more of that delusion starts to crack, that facade starts to fall, there will be players, let's say, that have a vested interest in making sure that you're still afraid, that... You have to lean on them for help. So these guardian angels are in here to help you work on your frequency. To help you when these things are happening, to help you not panic. To not go running into the arms of, I'm going to say it, some cult or anything extremist. Okay. So you don't go running. I I've been seeing it. People are like, I've saw it in the comments. I can't follow you anymore, Michelle, because I'm a born again Christian. And they say this is divination. First of all, Christians, excuse me, you don't get to determine what I practice. Okay. It's so funny to me. It's always people who aren't involved in esoteric arts who want to judge the esoteric arts. Okay. <laughs> and I don't do anything different from what a lot of these Christians are out there doing, saying they're talking to God. They have a message from God. God gave them a download. The Lord wants you to know this. I'm not out here dealing with 
dark entities. What? So are you kidding me? I am not. I'm going to start firing back on that one because I'm real tired of it. And again, they are split into the 3D. Even though they claim we're so religious, we're so religious, but you can't fool the universe. You can't fool your own God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like God sees everything. God knows your heart. So the more you're threatening people with the rapture, with, you know, if you don't believe the way I do, you're going to hell or whatever. I mean, we can go on and on and on with examples around that. So keep that in mind. Okay. But don't go running into the arms of extremists because that would be the fastest way your energy gets sucked out of you. You could see it as like you're deflated and now you're a puppet of that way of thinking. Now that could go another way too. If you're like, I don't like religion, religion or any spirituality. I'm an atheist and I'm just here to watch you make a fool out of yourself. Like that's fine. You can do that. Um, (laughs) no problem. But Keep in mind that whether you believe it or not, it's still happening. Something's still happening. And that's the other thing, too, we should address. Every single person who has their faith, their belief system, we're all just trying to interpret this energy as best as we can as humans. So we're all contributing a part of the story. And and that's it, okay? So if you don't like the language, it's okay. Just pay attention to the underlying message. I've been saying that for over a decade, okay? Pay attention to the underlying message. You, whatever it is that you are experiencing on your soul's contract, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. You have angels there to support you and help you through that. That is not the same as doing it for you. That is not the same as telling you all the answers. We humans, we could be so lazy and greedy and selfish. It's part of our human nature, right? It's self-preservation. And so often when people do come for an angel message, they come and you can come in with your questions. You can come in with whatever you want to look at. But especially when I first started doing this and people were so used to tarot readings and psychic readings and they just threw me into that same category. They were getting impatient with me and saying, just answer my question. Am I going to make a lot of money or not? Okay, well, I was trying to spare your feelings, but no. Why? You're a jerk. (laughs) You're a jerk. You have bad energy. And yeah, people with bad energy can make a lot of money. We've seen that, okay? They can manipulate that, you know, that frequency to bring that in for themselves. But these people weren't a part of that. So, no, you won't. If you stayed and you had an open mind and an open heart you would realize why things are occurring the way that they're occurring, what you're supposed to be learning from that. How is that helping you grow? This is valuable information. That those are the gems guys. Those are the gems. And it sickens me. It sickens me to see where people's attentions are going because they're going in the wrong direction. And I don't know about all of you, but I'm tired. I'm tired of shouting from the rooftops and saying, hey, be careful, be aware, you know, like don't, don't let people get you scared and then thinking that they're the only way to God or that they're the ones that have the answers because you're not open enough to understand things for yourself. Getting a fresh perspective from somebody, that's beautiful, okay? I wouldn't give you a reading and sit there and say, Now, don't you make another move until you come back and get another reading with me. I would never tell you that. As a matter of fact, when you get a reading with me, you leave with tools to help you keep getting messages from your question, from your reading that you got. You see what I'm saying? You want to come back and, you know, reassess at some point if that feels right to you. Okay, we could do that. But it's not this kind of like needy, I can't get along until Michelle tells me what to do. That's not what we do here. Okay. Okay. What's to come? Please keep in mind we're coming up on 1-1 and we're coming into a very different number frequency year. It's the final destruction year, supposedly. We'll see. But we're going to be seeing lots of surprising twists. We're, like I said, pump up your immune system. Do you have to, like, run and, like, don't, don't, don't run and do a money grab. Don't, don't do that. Okay. It, listen, the, the feeling I get more from this, it could actually work in our favor. 
It could be that money needs to be returned to people. Um, okay. They're, they're giving me a message here that people who believe themselves to be in power, that's starting to shut down now. Okay. It's starting to fall apart and it will continue to fall apart. If you are somebody who is so 3D thinking that you can't see through, and I'm talking about world events, I'm talking about a manipulation of history, I'm talking about people shaming others for their opinions. If you don't believe the way, I, uh, uh, all these absolutes, right? Ultimatums. I really look for a lot of relationships to break up because people are so divided and there will be more division to come. There will be more division on American soil. So we need to stay vigilant. We need to watch not only people from other, I don't know how to put this, um, ener energies, I don't know, <laughs> trying to come and attack what they don't understand are trying to come and attack what they feel they can't be a part of. And that's the bigger thing. Because if you ever notice, like we talk a lot about narcissism here. Narcissistic people will want to tear down someone who is very lovable, who is kind, who people may tend to gravitate towards. Now, there's probably some very, there's probably tons of reasons for that. But the most obvious one would be you're getting attention and I'm not. Or I want to siphon off of that person's energy and you're preventing me from doing that, right? So, yeah, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of uh, things going on here, but you're in a space where you need to make a choice. You need to make a choice. So the one, one, if you've seen my videos on, it's not just repeating number dates. It's not just that. It would be any kind of number or combination on each of the dates. Those carry a certain energy. You can see it as sort of the apex of an energy portal. Some people like to see it that way. Regardless, it's an energy that if you're aware of it, you can work with it in a positive way. Not like a greedy, selfish way, okay? But like in a positive, you know, I want to be have expanded awareness. I want to be in a higher consciousness. I want to be able to help as many people as I can without the need to feel like their guru that I, I I'll tell you what I have for many many years having been in this industry I've seen what it really is okay I've seen a lot of these practitioners some that people are like oh my gosh have you it's kind of weird people come to me and go you need to check out so and so's work because they really know how to talk to angels that's that darkness just trying to be a little condescending, right? Trying to, oh, you need to work with this person or whatever, right? And I probably know that person. <laughs> and there's a reason why I don't talk about them. There's a reason why I keep my distance. But y'all are falling for it. You're running right towards them. You'll just have to learn the hard way, I guess. I don't know. But for those of you who are ready, you have more angels to be working with. So you need to be tuning in with them, doing the practice. Some of you might be sitting there wondering, well, how do I know if I'm in 3D or 5D? If you're, I mean, that's, when we say 3D and 5D, it's so to speak, at least at this stage. Okay. It's so to speak. 5D is sort of, I don't know. You got to be careful with this because there will be a lot of people who claim like I'm in 5D, but they're so pretentious that you know that's not true. Careful of the narcissist. Careful or the sociopath. The sociopath that wants to mimic other people to try to look like a good person. I, you know, you got to watch it. Okay. That's why when we do work, angelic work, we strengthen our hearts. We strengthen, I don't know if you want to see us like energy receptors. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I got. Energy receptors so that we can discern what's really going on there. Now, there are plenty of times that I've walked into, um, like, <sighs> I'm not going to name names because I don't want to get all like, I don't want to go there. But um, there were, there were certain people that were very popular years ago. And I saw that as a cult. I saw that it was different. Like people were like robots 
just blindly worshiping this person, following this person wherever. And then of course, that's big business, isn't it? So publishers are picking this person up and saying, okay, we're going to keep riding this. We're just going to get as much money off this as we can. You're going to have to lean on your instincts here and your intuition, all right? And people who are truly in their wisdom, truly intuitive, true empaths, don't talk about it. The ones that are leaning on that as a label are trying to sell you something. Or they're in denial and they want to, because people do this, they'll use spirituality as, um, you know, they're seeking peace, which is what it's there for. It's to remember ourselves and remember our strength and, you know, the love that's actually there on offer, the divine love connecting with that. That's what it's there for. But if someone's coming out and they lead with, I am a fill in the blank some spiritual term they're manipulating you they are trying to get you to either go along with I'm not talking about my problems I'm just going to hide behind spirituality okay or I want you to believe that I am above you that I am special that I have powers that you don't have right Ah. Uh, Guys, I can't get you to wake up if you're not awake yet, okay? <laughs> like, I don't know what else to tell you. But you need to get ready. You need to get ready. Falling apart is not an option here. Forgetting yourself, beating yourself up for your experiences, especially if you have gone through something horrendous and, you know, beating yourself up and saying, oh, well, I should be more spiritually advanced. Spiritual practice is not about reaching the end of a race or something, right? Now, at the top of this reading, I did mention I'm going to, you know, teach certain people Akashic Records readings. And, you know, talking about the Merkaba. That won't be for everybody. And you might say, well, see, you're saying, like, I'm not advanced enough to get there. I would not be very ethical if I were taking money from people and trying to teach something that you're not open to. You see what I'm saying? Or you're taking it just because you would get a kick out of it. I mean, I guess you take it the way you want. But we don't want people in here. Here's Okay, let's go into that for a second. Can you use it irresponsibly? I mean, there are some dark people that, yeah, that would use it irresponsibly. But Archangel Metatron protects the Akashic Records, the Book of Life. You're not going to get very far, okay? Like, you're not going to get access if you're not in the right heart space. You feel me? So what would end up happening then is people would be, like, getting frustrated or not wanting to admit that they're not actually accessing, that they're not really in that, you know, I don't know, that access point. And so would go around and say, yeah, but I took a class with Michelle Patterson at Angel Soul. She taught me how to do this. And they're going off and trying to give readings to people. And it's not really them accessing the Akashic Records. You see what I'm saying? Now, I can't control what other humans are going to do. That's between them and God. But uh, I can do my best in the moment. Like if they feel like they have a good energy in the moment, maybe we can proceed. But do you see what I'm getting at here? This isn't about... I'm going to miss out or someone's going to do better than me and I have to be competitive and I have to No, here's a good gauge of your spiritual practice. Does it make you feel relaxed? Now I'm not sitting here saying that spirituality is all sunshine and rainbows. It's not, it's not, but on the day to day, let's say you get up in the morning, you feel a little bit calmer. Okay. Cause you're meditating, maybe you're going through your prayer practice Maybe something comes up that you need to work on, right? That's where it can, you know, to us, to our mind can be a little unpleasant sometimes. But more than anything, you will be open to divine love. And when that divine love comes through and you remember, okay, everything that's playing out in front of me 
isn't the end all be all, right? There is something more to this. There is deeper meaning. I have a purpose here and I don't have to put a label on that purpose. I know that my purpose can express in a lot of different ways. A lot of people define that as a career, but that's not always it. That's not just, that's not the only thing about your path. You will know if you're ready or not based on how uptight you are. <laughs> Going into 2024, how uptight are you? Uh, if someone says, you know, this is going to deconstruct and do you panic? Do you go, oh my gosh? Or do you go, yeah, been feeling that for years. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But you won't have access to your money. But you won't have, huh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, but the internet could go down and, and power grids are going to go down. Yeah, There were a time that people, and still there are people all over the world, as someone pointed out in the comments one time, brilliant. There are people all over the world who currently don't have internet and don't use electricity. Okay, <laughs> so we will work it out. But I want to leave it there for now. Again, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, go ahead and let me know. We'll start getting that scheduled after Christmas. Uh, angelsouls444 at gmail.com for the live sessions. Or if you just want to go over to my website to get a standard reading, angelsouls444.com. Leave your comments down below. Please make sure you are subscribed. Thank you for liking and sharing. I love you all. Take care.